It's about eight hours drive north of Perth, a place called Carbler Point inside Shark Bay. They're not your average rocks. They're stromatolites, and they might give hints to whether simple life thrives throughout the cosmos. While stromatolites look like rocks, and they are limestone basically, they're actually growing by about a millimetre a year. That's because they have mats of bacteria living on their top surfaces. It's the bacteria's excretions that help build the limestone structures beneath them. And it's these microbes, known as cyanobacteria, that are relevant to space life because they can grow in very tough conditions. Being able to thrive in these harsh conditions is one reason astrobiologists study these mats of bacteria. Because perhaps they're thriving in the harsh conditions of other planets. There won't be living stromatolites on Mars today, of course, but there could be fossilised stromatolite remains from the past. We could comb through the images looking for them. But first, we need to know how to distinguish stromatolites from just regular rocks. That's what Vade Cherieth set out to do, by mapping the stromatolites here in great detail. Using a drone fitted with a high resolution camera. Theory is, stromatolites might grow in a particular pattern, say. Discover the pattern and we could search for it among the rocks on Mars. When we look through water from above the surface, it causes a lot of distortions to light. Yeah. Um, it focuses light, it causes um, wave distortions, and then it also absorbs a lot of light. This is a simulated seafloor covered in water. Apply Vade software and you get this. Distortions be gone. Vade applied the software to the drone videos of the stromatolites. This would just be where the water line is. Yeah, and then as you get remarkable. deeper, you'll notice that everything's at the same resolution. Yeah. And we yeah. can resolve, uh, these are older stromatolite structures, archaic structures. And as we go further out into the pool, we can start seeing living extant stromatolites and then and microbial mats. It's giving us the first view ever, actually, of something underwater at that resolution. The next step was to use these stunning images to train a computer to spot the difference between stromatolites and regular rocks so it could look for fossilised stromatolites on Mars. 